the targets that you've given the, the Uganda Revenue Authority, sometimes, or in the last three years, they've not been able to meet. And the Revenue Authority has been speaking back and saying, sometimes these targets are way off the mark of what they are able to do. Mm -mm. I, I, I don't believe it. Uh, they have not been performing 100%. We have, been, we have a problem. You had what the president talked. Uh, uh, I'm glad he, he has helped me to, to do a bit of sweeping. There's a problem. Uh, there is a problem, connivance, uh, the officers conniving with the taxpayers and, uh, and the, the revenue does not come. I, I will give you one good case. But here this is what, I, I don't think I should accuse the, 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 my staff in the Ghana Revenue Authority. Uh, there is a case also business people, they are not honest. Yesterday you remember when I said, I said please to pay tax is a noble cause. Uh, there has been a lot of declaration. We, we are getting evidence during the, when we, where, where we have gone with what we are called the digital stamp solution. <laughs> things are changing. Uh, things are changing. I don't have the figures of, of my calf, but uh, since that time, let me use, uh, because I don't want to, to embarrass the, the business people. Hitherto, they were saying we are producing, say, one million bottles of something. When we put that system, now the production has gone to three million. So where are the two? And of course, for them, when they say one, th one million, that's what they pay tax. The other two, <laughs> it gets, gets hidden. So, that it's not true that the, with the figures we've been asking them are unrealistic. As you heard the president, many of our neighbors, our tax DP, sorry, our tax GDP ratio is the lowest. Now 13 point something. We hope we shall make it 14 something. It should be 18. You go to Kenya, you, you, go, you check Kenya, you check Rwanda. Why? Why the difference? It is because we have a problem within the house of URA. We have a problem within the business communities. They are not honest. They think they should make it easy and quick that they are shooting themselves in the foot. Mm. Mm. Madam Minister, if I could ask you a final question. Mm. Um, the informal economy. Yes. Um, a lot of Ugandans work and breathe in the informal economy. Mm. They may not have the capacity to access loans from the Uganda Development Bank. They may not have the capacity to, to walk to commercial banks and get the kind of loans that, that you're giving out. How are you reorganizing this informal economy to be able to also tap into the package that you're giving as a relief package? Did you hear what I said yesterday about a mioga? A mioga, for those of you who are watching this program, uh, for lack of a better word, I would call them cluster uh, prof no, no, trade clusters. And let me demonstrate this. You have the hair saloons. Uh, you have the border borders. You have the jewel carries. You have uh, uh, by the way, including LCs. We are also saying you get together, then we can give you money for you to be able to do business, okay, or to do to, to production. And Benny, there are about 18 clusters. Now you had what type of money, money I'm putting there. And uh, should we reorganize the budget as we are going to do? When we reorganize the budget, I intend to put more money there. Mm. Mm. So those people who are saying there are, there are, there are, there are informal now we are inviting them to become formal they register uh, as a formal business they make declaration of their tax ob obligations uh, they, 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 because by doing so they will enjoy also certain benefits so i'm appealing to any person who is a business person who will intend to do business we want to formalize you have, I, I told you now, you can go for a business registration within four hours you are walking out with all the details that you'd want. Uh, so, uh, we, we think that with, 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 when we reorganize, 
these people in Mioga, then they will be able, they either can register as a group, okay, in which they get out the informality because they will now be working as a group or they register as individuals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Depending on the political class worry, the expenditure that we have on the political representatives of the country, is it something that worries you at the Ministry of Finance? Well, I am one of them. Uh, me, my concern now, 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 is the number of uh, administrative units that we have created. Uh, so many sub counties, so many trade, uh, uh, I mean, uh, what call them, town councils. Uh, note that they are not necessary, but the question is. Could they not wait a bit? That's, what they, that's my only question. Could they not have waited a bit? We need them, but could they not have waited a bit until uh, we sort out to our revenue issue? So that when they come, then I give them money and they, it's sustainable. That, that's the only problem. But to my members of parliament, I am a member of parliament. How much money do we get? It's between 20 to 25 million. Now, those of you who are not in the politics, 20, 25 million to an MP to run effectively his uh, constituency is peanuts. Some of us do even dig in our own pockets to, using, to, 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 serve, to service a, a, a constituency as we speak in the Uganda of today. You need at least uh, an average maybe of 40, 50 million a month if you have to service. Take, okay, we are given money and for fuel to run. But maybe we, made, we may have made mistakes on this, but it is now the practice. You have to better people. You may have even to educate people. You must uh, go and visit the sick. You must, me, me, I have even decided to put on a little, a little, a little scheme, bursary scheme, to ensure that the children whose parents cannot go to, they go to school. Because if these children don't go to school, they will become a problem in the future. <laughs> there are so many demands on an MOP. Very many demands. J just hold on. There is a question. Oh, now, now ha. the good thing that I hope now these weddings can become real, real scientific. <laughs> the real scientific. I wish this now was going to be the culture. Yeah. They, they, they will call you for weddings, you must go. If you don't go, then you are a bad man. Funerals I've already talked about. Uh, fundraisings, fundraisings, uh, churches, schools, this, this. So uh, I, 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 I don't think uh, the MPs are, are being given uh, excessive money, in my view, no. I'm using my personal experience. We may be, society can say maybe we are doing things which we are not supposed to do. Yes, that's true. But the situation demands so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the situation. An MP, you are not supposed to to go to to construct schools. You are not supposed to uh, construct churches. But if they if the the faithfuls are putting up their church somewhere, and they invite you to go and do fundraising, you cannot you can, you cannot if you refuse, then you you can you are met, you might as well have lost the constituents to the opposition uh, to the to the one who is opposing you. So isn't that political patronage instead of actually legislation? No, it is not patronage. Please, it's not patronage. It's being realistic. It's not patronage. I'm not trying to, uh, to buy. But you must also be relevant. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you look at this. There is a fundraising for a church or a fundraising of a school where government has not yet gone to put up the school. Ideally, we should be able, but I will concentrate more on, on churches, but even schools, the parents, because the government has not reached there yet to put up a school, the parents have done, and I, that one I can tell you, my course, many, many schools are being, being put up by the parents themselves. So they invite you to come and help them in doing that job. You just keep quiet then what are you for? So you have to go. It's not patronage. It's not trying to buy. It. Let me not be misinterpreted. You think that Kasaya is thinking we are buying voters. No, we are not buying voters. 
What about the other people who are not even politicians who come and uh, contribute? Some business people, even ordinary people, they come and contribute. Now, you cannot fail to contribute. If you fail to contribute, then it means you are living in the crowds. You are not among your people. Uh, funerals. It is not a question of, 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 of really buying votes. In our tradition, when a person dies, the people, the friends, the whatnot, the relatives contribute to the funeral. And you are part of the team. So you have to contribute. And they are expecting you not to contribute 10,000 shillings. <laughs> hey. So it is not, it's not patronage at all. Mm. There is a difference between patronage and living with and among your people. I want it as soon as possible. Uh, I want it as soon as possible. We, we are consulted, consulting with, the, with the, some people. Uh, God willing, uh, we could go to cabinet the other Monday. And the once cabinet uh, pronounces them themselves, then we start reorganizing. And then we'll go back to parliament. Mm -hmm. so. It 